900 pounds of sand. I think sand should be worse than water. So why did you both decide to enter the show? Well, it was one of my big dreams. Um, but also, I would really like to keep uh, ventriloquism alive because it's not common, you know? So. <laughs> well, listen, Darcy, best of luck. I really hope you both Thank do well. Thank you so much. All right, good luck. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Hit it. <laughs> <laughs> what, you're going to sing? Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm guessing is exactly like you very charming and adorable you made my heart melt you were brilliant I'm trying to describe how amazing it was you know what Hi there. 
Look at you. Hello. What's your name? My name is Kenichi Ebina. What is your act? Um, my act is dance-ish performance. Dance-ish? Ish, yes. Okay. How did you get into dance-ish kind of performing? Um, I knew only the one step called the Running Man. Right. <laughs> and uh, when I did it, people got loud. And I was like, yeah. And so I was like, oh, I feel good. All right. Good luck. Have fun. Thank you. Thank you. You're a beautiful young lady, you know that? Thank you. <laughs> How old are you? Uh, 12. Are you excited to be here? It's crazy. <laughs> what are you going to sing? I'm singing an original. Really? Yes. What's it about? It's about me. <laughs> and other people at school behind you supporting you? Most of my friends don't really know I sing. So they don't know you're here? No. You believe that you can win? Well, I mean, miracles can happen, so possibly. <laughs> Stage is yours. Good luck.
show about surprises, and you use the word miracle, and I think you are a living, beautiful, walking miracle. Your original, the people not knowing your name, is so right and so wrong because I think the world is going to know your name. I think right now they're going to know your name because you are going right now. about bar magic as opposed to regular magic is the fact that I don't use big props. I don't, I can't afford them. <laughs> and that's Whoa. all I have to dazzle the world. Right. Now the thing about magic that happens close to your face is that it has to be performed exquisitely. Okay, yes. I pronounced that word correctly, but... <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> Just cost the cards. But honestly, I whoa, whoa. just do not like card tricks because oh, that's amazing. But where are you coming from? But I have a beautiful six-year-old son, and um, I want to do something to you, Miss Mel. B. Oh wow, well, that my little boy likes. Can I see your hand? The other side. Thank you. Perfect. I'm gonna take this ball, put it right about here. I want you to hold that ball real tight for me. Thank you. With that ball there and that ball there, we're gonna go abracadabra. Open up your hand. Oh. Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! Let me mentally assault you two on the other hands. <laughs> because, because I am ghetto. Whoa. Oh. Thank you. Not my name, though. <laughs> that is the name. Whoa! Wowza! Oh! Whoa! Thank you. phenomenal, but I'm concerned that the initial preparation that I must do will be possibly disturbing to the judges and audience. I have to align my chakras and get into a very meditative state 
This environment is going to be quite difficult. Those X's are very loud, and I hope it doesn't destroy my concentration. Somebody want to get that? premature exification. I did. I was annoyed with you. I wanted to lock you in a mental institution. <laughs> and then lo and behold, you pulled off your special trick, special head. <laughs> and um, I'm going to take my ex back because I actually like what you did. I've never done that before. First time. First time. This was amazing. And I'm sitting right here and I'm looking and I'm like, how is he doing this? You know, I'm so glad I didn't hit my ex because I think what we all just witnessed was out of this world. I just saw something I have never seen before and I definitely want to see again. It's a yes from me. It is a hands down definite yes from me. I want to see you again, yes. It is a yes for me. You have four yeses. Are you going to bed? And what's your name? Uh, Mandy Harvey. And who's this? My interpreter. What's your name? Sarah. Nice to meet you, Sarah. Nice to meet you, you, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Doing well, thank you. Hello. Okay, Mandy, so I think I've worked this out. So you're deaf? Yes, I, I lost all my hearing when I was 18 years old. Wow. And how old are you now? Uh, 29. So it's 10 years. Wow. And Mandy, how did you lose your hearing, if you don't mind me asking? I have a connective tissue disorder, so basically I got sick and my nerves deteriorated. So, you were singing before you lost your hearing? Yeah, I've been singing since I was four. So I, I left music after I lost my hearing and then uh, figured out how to get back into singing with muscle memory, using visual tuners, and trusting my pitch. So your shoes are off because you're feeling the vibration. Is that how you're following the music? Yeah, I'm feeling the tempo, the, the beat, uh, through the floor. And Mandy, what are you going to sing? I'm going to uh, sing a song that I wrote called Try. OK, can you tell me what it's about? After I lost my hearing, I gave up. But I want to do more with my life than just give up. So. Good for you. Okay, well, look, this is your moment, and good luck. Uh, okay.
Andy, I don't think you're going to need a translator for this. Honestly, I never think I'm going to be surprised or amazed by people. And then you turn up. And with, I mean, just the fact that you are you, but it was your voice, your tone. The song was beautiful. Congratulations, you are straight through to the live shows. That is a beautiful name. Your first name is Heavenly. My aunt calls me Hev. Okay. Yeah. How old are you, Hev? I'm five. I love your outfit, by the way. Thank you. Uh, tell me about yourself. What are you going to be doing today? I'm going to be singing a song and do tap with it. That's hard to do because sometimes you can get out of breath, right, when you're singing? Yeah. Is that going to happen to you? No. No. Good. And, and, where did you get this ability at five years old? Do you have a musical family? Since when I was one, I used to sing. Because you got to start at a young age in this business. You really do. <laughs> now, you know, if you win this whole thing, you get a million dollars. Well, if I get a million dollars, I want them to keep them. I want to get them all over the world because some people don't have any clothes, so I'll give some clothes to them. Aww. Beautiful. Right. <laughs> By the way, I'm your favorite judge, aren't I? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Very smart. All right. I wish you a lot of luck. I hope you win so all those people who don't have money get money, you know? Places, I'm oh, telling you. Wow. wow. You know, when I was uh, a little boy, not much older than you, if you can imagine that. <laughs> Heavenly, I used to watch uh, Shirley Temple yeah. in movies on TV. I watched that. You watch that too? Yep. Did you know, I think Shirley Temple is living somewhere inside of you. Is that possible? Because. Well, not Shirley Temple, Jesus. There you go. How are you talking? Jesus and Shirley Temple. <laughs> Jesus Temple. Yeah. 
Heavenly, I have to tell you, you did such a fantastic job. You were so cute singing and dancing. I think America's going to fall in love with you, Heavenly. I bet you dollars to donuts that they are already <laughs> in love with her. You are Heavenly. You really are. You remind me of our own Mel B, because you would have been a terrific Spice Girl, I think. Yeah. I don't know what that is. You never heard of them, right? No, because I wasn't born yet. Right. Uh... It doesn't know who you are. That's okay. We know who she is. She's adorable. Let's vote, shall we? Well, you know, Heavenly, I'll be proud to tell you that you have your first yes. Heavenly, I'm going to give you your second yes. Great job. I will give you your third. That's it. We'll see you in the next round. Good job, Heavenly. What is your name, young lady? Ellen. And you, sir, what is your name? Isaiah. You're the drummer, I take it, and what do you do? Sing. You're, and how old are you? Six. You're six, and how old are you? Nine. Brother and sister? Yes. Like the Partridge family. <laughs> I love that show. You ever hear of that show? All right. We can't wait to hear your sweet music. Thank you. You. The reason I hit my buzzer wasn't because I didn't like the song. I was afraid your voice was going to blow out and you'd never get to talk again because you were screaming so loud. Does that hurt your voice? No. <laughs> well, I got to tell you, you, that song really packs a punch. It really does. <laughs> what is the title of that song? Zombie Skin. Zombie Skin. That's what I thought. Tell it about zombies. Whoa. I love the way you dress when you do this form of music. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, Heidi, what did you think? I'm really confused. You were so cute and sweet, and when you opened your mouth, I was like, Whoa. And something... I want to meet your parents. Where are they? Are they there, Nick? What goes on in your house? Aha, uh, uh -huh. I mean, there's the culprit. There's the culprit. What is going on? Good job, Dad. Hey, right on. All right, let's hear from Mel B. Scary Spice is officially scared. <laughs> That's it. Howie. That's it. I love it. The people who saw this are rewinding and saying, you're not going to believe what this little girl just did. <laughs> did you write any other music? Do you have other songs? Yes. yes. What are some of the other titles? Lullaby Crash. Lullaby Crash. Um, brush my hairs in knots. Oh, I know that one. It goes like this. <laughs> All right, we're going to vote. I'm going to go to Howie Mandel first, who is an expert on this type of music. Howie, Screamo, what do you think? It, I do. I, I like this kind of music. And I, you think it's crazy, but I do. And hopefully we'll get to see you in Vegas because I'm voting yes. I have to be realistic. No. I'm still confused, but I do want to hear Lullaby Crash. <laughs> lullaby Crash! I want to hear it! You know what they say? What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Let's see if you can keep a secret in Vegas. I'm going to send you this. 
I like it.